Welcome to another Form Titan 101 video on how to use dummy button to run custom actions. Now, dummy button doesn't do anything unless you specify <coughs> any custom actions against it. And on the face of it, it looks like it's not doing anything, but I will show you it can do a lot of things. So, I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll create a couple of fields and we'll just say address. <coughs> Sorry, just call it URL and then email and I'll also get a hidden field as this will come in handy and I'll explain why I'm doing it and then the next thing we will do is we'll get a button we'll get a submit button just a standard submit button and then another button <coughs> which we will call a dummy button And I'm just going to modify the features. I'm just going to say the font will be white <coughs> and the background will be black. Let's do that again. Okay, once I've done that, I'm just going to quickly go ahead and label this to dummy. And then all you have to do is you can set in the settings, set the button type to be dummy. So we've done that and we're going to preview. <coughs> and if I click it, it doesn't do anything. Um, and that's how it will be unless you don't specify anything against it. So the way you do it is you, you can really use this to set up any custom actions. It really comes in handy. For example, I can say, if I click the dummy button and I go into the advanced section, I can say on click action, we can say <coughs> our hidden field set the value will say dummy button clicked. So I'll apply this and let me just make it bigger so the text can be seen. And now look what happens. If I put it into a preview and I click the dummy button, it'll say dummy button clicked. And you can pass um, values to a hidden field um, doing this. There are tons of use cases. <coughs> I'm not going to be able to cover all of them. In fact, millions. So that's one way of doing it. You could also set another one, like for example, set. So once um, the dummy button is clicked, I can set value um, to, we can just set value from, from a certain field, but this one just be, will be full name. <coughs> we can make it read only, we can even hide. Um, so let's, let's try another use case here right now. We'll say hide URL. <coughs> okay, so now we'll go in here and we'll say, when this button is clicked, hide the URL field. So let's test it. Go in here, we'll click hide URL and it's hidden and it's also populated this. So that's another way of doing it. <coughs> there are also other things you can do. Like for example, when that's clicked, you can really redirect URL. So we'll say, um, uh, we can say the URL can be HTTP. Yes. <coughs> In fact, let me just copy and paste it. Whoops, go back here, paste it in here, apply, and then 300, pi, pi, save. And then if I preview, not only populates this, hides that, it will also execute those parameters as well. Um, <coughs> it can also execute a button. Uh, for example, it can print as well, it can reset it. So we'll just quickly print this and we're going to do a preview. We'll click it and look, here comes the, the print options. So there are heaps of stuff you can do with the uh, dummy button. 
uh, it really is um, just you can set up multiple conditions you can do a lot of things and you can even set up a confirmation mode and say are you sure you want to do this yes no <coughs> sorry let me reconfigure that test sure no so if I click apply and I save it and I run a preview if I click it it will come up with yes or no and then I can say yes or no and yes for other things so just to use just to hammer the point in that <coughs> there are tons of options and um, custom actions you can run based off a custom button <coughs> which is the button type is dummy and so all you have to do is click on the button whatever the button is set the attribute to dummy and then go ahead and configure any custom actions if you have any thank you for watching this